I want to share a couple things that we get asked about on a fairly regular basis and how to manage them inside your own dashboard. Uh, for starters, let's go to privacy. So you go to your username, click the privacy button right there. It'll take you to here. You can show or not show your online status. You can receive news and email updates. And this is what we get a lot of questions about is, is I don't want to get the, the news and the email updates. Well, just click it. It'll go away. Um, I, I opt to receive them. Um, I don't always read them. I certainly don't read the update emails 98% uh, of the time, but I, but I do get them. I, I, I do receive, re, re, I do read the news because there might be something there that, that, would, that could help me out. Um, and here's and here's all your other stuff here. I mean, you could if you want to make your your um, your profile hidden, you can make members only or people you only follow or all visitors. Uh, I have mine set as all visitors. This is all by the way. This is all default. Anything you see in here is default. I don't I don't uh, change any of that stuff. But there you go. Once you do that, though, make sure you click save changes. Um, but this is one I say we have a fair amount of people asking about. I, I don't want to get the updates. I don't want to get the news. I, I don't want to get the private messages from the staff that update things. This, this should stop that for you. If it doesn't stop that for you, hit the report button and um, we'll, we'll direct that issue to the proper staff member so that they can fix that for you if there's an issue. The other one that I, I'd like to share with is the alert preferences. And alert preferences is right here. You receive, you can receive an alert when somebody replies. So watch that. This is all, by the way, again, the default. You can stop this though. If you don't want to get an alert when somebody when somebody replies to a thread you're watching, just tick it. You can also unwatch a thread, but you know inside the thread itself. But in your dashboard, I'm just sharing the dashboard stuff. Um, here's when you're going to get alert. All these times here, boom, 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 boom. Um, and more. Boom, boom, boom. You can change any of these you want just by ticking it. Boom. Ticking it. Boom. And again, save changes. This should help your experience on Black Hat World just be a little bit better if, if, um, if these are concerns of yours. There's a lot of other things in here that, uh, that you can change. You can change your avatar. You can uh, change your password, and you should. Um, Two-step verification, you absolutely positively should have that in place. Um, I mean, it's not required for most, but it's certainly something that you should you should do. Um, so, so take a look in here. Click your username and scroll down and just play around in here and see what's in here. Um, and you'll learn some things that, you know, maybe you didn't learn in the past about the, the back end of Black Hat World, the dashboard, your dashboard, and, and how you can manage things to, um, to make your preferences as you as you want them um, I believe that covers it um, I do want to show you something though as far as emails go I get a couple uh, this is today one two three four five you know and you scroll down I mean I, I don't I don't open them I'll look and see I'll look and see in here different things if I see something from somebody I know I should be taking a look at, I mean, there's some stuff that goes on with the staff. You know, I'll, I'll do something about that. But that's typically how things work. Um, and if I untick that box over here, I wouldn't get the updates. And that, that, that email address would, would be, you know, uh, vacant. Uh, I only use that email address for Black Hat World, by the way. So there you go. There's some stuff that maybe that can help you out. Um, thanks for watching and hopefully that helps you some.